Hello everyone, in today's video we'll be going over the Burp Suite Certified Practitioner exam that I passed last week and uh, just to talk a little bit about the exam, what I used to prepare for exam, the whole process if you are planning to take it. So definitely highly recommended Burp Suite Certified Practitioner exam is something that forced me to learn uh, Burp Suite uh, tool in depth but also to learn uh, about many many web application vulnerabilities if you're interested in those but also but not only to learn about those, but to find a way how to exploit those vulnerabilities and to really to showcase you the impact of those vulnerabilities. So for example, if you are doing a bug bounties or if you're doing web app pen tests or something like that, uh, uh, causing an alert with XSS is one thing, but being able to demonstrate how, how this can affect uh, the customers the being able to steal their cookie, session cookies or something like that is going to increase the value of the bounty in terms of the XSS, just in terms, for example, of the reflected XSS. And if you're doing the web pen test, can help you to compromise user accounts if it's allowed or any kind of the other security uh, engagement, honestly. So this is my certificate uh, after passing. So I uh, submitted my exam attempt on the Wednesday evening and I got the results back by the Friday morning, I believe so. So definitely a really, really fast progress by sports figure there so I do really appreciate this exam and this opportunity I think it's an amazing uh, amazing couple months of preparing for it and learning path for as well so uh, yeah so this is the how the how the certificate looks like moving on uh, my progress when it comes to the exam looks like this so I was able to solve 81% uh, of all the labs Burps we recommend solving all the labs but I didn't focus much about on the Business logic labs, which are I'm not saying they're not useful. Of course, they're useful, especially um, when uh, especially on real engagements. But I didn't find them really uh, being much much needed for the exam specifically. Uh, for example, the business logic vulnerabilities, but also the race conditions. I usually solve like one or two uh, labs from each of those topics, but I didn't go uh, more in depth about those. But I'm, I'm planning to finish those as well now that I passed in the exam. So as you can see here. Uh, I finished all the 58 of the basic level labs and then 155 out of 168. So 19% uh, that's left is about race conditions and business logic vulnerabilities that I mentioned. So uh, in addition to this one, there is eight specific labs that are recommended by the Burp Suite. There is uh, uh, two practice exams, uh, although for preparation they suggest only one. And then five mystery labs. Uh, I, I, I highly recommend doing more than five, definitely. So going on, uh, with the next step is to how to prepare for exam. So this is the eight labs that we see in the previous tab that perhaps we recommend and I also do recommend them as well because they're actually going to showcase what can you do when you find a vulnerability. For example, uh, what can you do, for, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, for example, exploiting cross site scripting to steal the cookies because uh, Burp Suite uh, Practitioner Exam is actually going to be two web applications with uh, three stages to complete in order uh, to, to hack the application and to solve the challenge. So you have, finding a XSS and just causing an alert is not going to be sufficient. You have to find a way to steal the cookies from the imaginary user that's uh, visiting the home screen. Uh, I believe every 15 seconds, there is more in exam details, but something like that, or you can go ahead and use the exploit server provided with the exam to deliver the payload to the victim. So these are, for example, you can see also here, blindness kill injection with out of bandit exfiltration, which can help you to solve the challenge because the, the main goal of every or each lab of those two web applications you have an exam is to exfiltrate the home car or secret. So it's really important to know the techniques, how to do so. and. Yeah, uh, I think the Burp Suite uh, or actually ports figure throughout the, the the labs that you finish into each topic does not emphasize this as much as it's seen in my opinion. Uh, you have the way to, you have the solutions and you have the YouTube videos and resources how to solve specific labs, but how to exploit the vulnerabilities, that's on you. You have to do your own research, find a way to exploit vulnerabilities, and that's actually going to help you on the exam specifically. So. Uh, Saying that, moving to the next next step is actually discovering the vulnerabilities quickly with targeted scanning. This helped me a lot on the exam, uh, especially the, doing the active scan and spe scanning the specific uh, specific uh, parts of the code of, of the of the requests. So, for example, if you are 
suspecting SQL injection or something like that, you can select specific portion of the request which can be in the get or post uh, parameters and scan those which is actually going to improve your uh, time management and also uh, your recon. So for example, in this one I find really useful because you have a limit of 10 minutes to find a vulnerability and exploit vulnerability because you have only four, uh, you have only, I believe, yeah, four hours, uh, two hours per the, uh, per the application. So it's really not a lot of time. So you have to be fast and efficient with enumeration. And that's why I recommend doing as much as possible mystery labs as going to uh, really make uh, force you to finish labs fast. You can set timers. I didn't set any kind of timers, but I try to do as much, uh, as fast as I can when it comes to identifying the vulnerability, uh, then uh, finding the uh, using the specific payload to uh, to see if it works, and then finally exploiting the vulnerability on myself or if there is an uh, imaginary user the script that's running in the background. So. After that, uh, returning to the tab, what, what Burp Suite, or actually, sorry, what Port Suite recommend for the exam is actually, the last step is actually doing the practice exam. And this is the tab you can see, there is a two practice exams. I wish we have some more, but unfortunately we don't. And these two practice exams are really similar, uh, but it's really nice practice just to kind of get familiar with the environment and how the exam works and to get a, a sense of a time, I would say so. So definitely highly recommend to take both practice exams and uh, you never know, you might see something similar on the exam. So uh, I just wish they're a little different because the vulnerabilities uh, in each step of the both exams are the same. So, and plus, in addition to that one, for each exam, we only have one, one uh, web app, not two. And moving to the next point uh, is the resources that I used. I found this GitHub repo extremely useful, especially when you are switching. Uh, so my approach was like, uh, I, I wanted to complete all the topics and then when I complete the topics and I have my payloads in my notes and everything I want to for each uh, I would say for each scenario you might find yourself within the specific vulnerability I wanted to find a way how to exploit the vulnerability so I would have one in my notes I would have one way for a solution to complete the lab so I can move move on for a mystery labs when practicing, but also another payload how to exp uh, exploit that vulnerability. So I found this web page, uh, GitHub repo, extremely useful. Uh, it's Burp Suite Search for Practitioner Exam Study from uh, Juan, I believe so. Sorry if I'm um, mispronouncing the name. Uh, and it's definitely, definitely, I think the, the goal of standard when it comes to preparing. I want to create my own GitHub page for the payloads and node, notes and everything. But this one is actually really, really complete. And you also have an issue that when you have different stages, what kind of vulnerabilities you can find yourselves doing with specific stage. For example, stage one is a foothold. You have a list of vulnerabilities. Stage two is privilege escalation or compromising our uh, account, which is an administrative account. And then finally, there is a stage three for data exfiltration. So it is really important to be really confident in each stage of the exam so you can finish it and move smoothly through the exam when it comes to the uh, taking the exam. And so it's really, really, and it's not only about the Burp Suite uh, Certified Practitioner exam, it's about also the additional uh, uh, information you can find. For example, you have Python scripts, uh, there is a uh, multiple websites and additional resources to educate yourself, and so on, and so on. Uh, also, there is a, uh, with every, uh, as you know, with every lab there is a solution, but uh, also there there is so many good resources beyond this one, beyond this GitHub repo uh, on a YouTube, for example. I use this channel from, uh, I don't want to say the name, so maybe well, Harno or I don't know uh, for mis mispronouncing it. So. Um, Use this channel uh, to understand in that the uh, HTTP request modeling as I did. So this is my first time being uh, when I found it. it didn't didn't do much about researching and doing the labs before I uh, tag, uh, tackled this one on Portsvigor. So um, the solutions uh, kind of Portsvigor provides only solution for a lab. But I also want to go in depth to really understand what's going on behind the scenes. So I use this channel channel. Uh, to learn about the HTTP request manual, so highly recommended. And th so those two resources, uh, it's not only the one, but there is so many good resources online, I just didn't want to make this video extremely long, going over the each, but definitely uh, highly recommended doing the additional, even if you saw the lab, doing the additional research to see what kind of uh, other tips and tricks you can use, uh, what kind of other uh, extensions that you can use to, uh, to speed up your enumeration, but also to help you identify the vulnerabilities. And then uh, something that's also really important is uh, 
finding the way so we know that the exam is actually to in order to solve the exam you have to exfiltrate the home carl's secret file so i think it the uh, understanding that is also really important and i have uh, to summarize everything about the scanning and uh, to exploitating data kind of understanding vulnerabilities i want to do a quick demo on this one so i choose ssty and this is a pretty simple basic plan for uh, uh, to exfiltrate to delete morale.txt file now the idea here is to do so the lab you can go ahead you get the uh, rc and delete the morale.txt that's also really nice you understand the concept but also it's important to understand how if you find yourself on the exam day finding an ex uh, finding the server site of injection that last stage of the exam for the exfiltration how can you use uh, how can you actually exploit it and then steal that home car or secret so you can submit the solution and solve the exam so let's go ahead and uh, just boot up this lab really quick and see what i'm talking about so uh, i just wanted to showcase summarize everything in this video how we can go ahead and uh, deal with this one so it's it's one thing to delete the morale txt which is not going to be really helpful in the exam but it's our way to exfiltrate the data so i have everything ready uh, lab is booting up i, I have already burped uh on so let's go ahead and add this to the scope and from there we are going to uh, i'm going to really do a quick demo how we can go ahead and exfiltrate the data and how the solution of the lab is actually going to be a little different than exfiltrating the data so let's go ahead and turn on the foxy proxy and also initial you have to use i'm using firefox at the moment but for the exam you can use you have to use chrome because of the third party uh, that you have to use for exam monitoring so it's not really a big of a deal, just a heads up before the exam day. You can install all kinds of things such as find a useful cookie editor, webalizer, foxy proxy. You can do, install all these extensions in Chrome, so it's really not, not much different. Let's go ahead and refresh, see this one if it's loaded. Yes, it's all really nice. So if I view the details, there is a phone show that this product is out of the stock. So because we know we are dealing with a server side apple injection you can go ahead and perform the active scan or you can go ahead and uh, set a scan this specific scan select insertion point which is really nice and handy save me so many so much time on the exam day uh, and definitely highly recommend it and i believe the burps we will pick up this as a server side apple injection almost immediately so in order for us in order to solve this one we can send this to repeater and as we know this uh, from the description is using uh, erb so i already have hack tricks here and uh, let's see if we can get this to work so let's try classic pillow is going to see if this evaluates to 49 so let's switch this message let's url encode this payload and let's see so 49 is equal 49 so we see we have command uh, we have rce so for to solve the lab you can go ahead and um, delete right away home carlos morale.txt but i want to show his how can you use it for example this payload on the exam day to exfiltrate the home carlos secret so let's go ahead and because i already saw the lab i know this one is actually going to work for executing the code so let's go ahead and uh, specify here so system i believe it's this one if i'm not wrong might be this one as well but uh i think they're pretty similar so let's go ahead and use the system and then let's go ahead and if you want to solve the lab you do re remove command and home carlos morale.txt right but let's go ahead beyond that so we can do a double get post file and then we want to go ahead and send this home carlos morale.txt now we are kind of imagining we are dealing on the exam so it will be home carlos secret and then we want to use collaborator and exfiltrate this file to our collaborator server so everything looks nice let's go ahead and url encode it and see if this will work and you see we have the dns lookups but also http ones and the request to collaborate is actually going to contain morale.txt so this is the way how you can exploit your data so this is the uh, this is just a quick demo about one of the vulnerabilities but it's my whole point and uh, what i think the port server is not is not for being uh, i don't know how to say but it's, it's not like focusing much of their time the about the uh 
uh, exploiting the vulnerabilities and data exfiltration, so you kind of have to do research on your own, which is, uh, I, I really liked it because Julia really forced me to understand everything uh, really in depth and different ways how to approach these uh, vulnerabilities, but also, uh, the, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you see the lab is not solved, but we find a way to exfiltrate the data. So now when you see the, your payload works, we can go ahead and solve the lab by using the using that remove command. So it will be um, remove and then home Carlos Morale txt. So let's go ahead and let me see. Let's go ahead from here. Just URL encode it. Set out and yeah, we solved the lab. So I hope you like this video. I hope uh, that this approach will help you to prepare for the exam. So definitely finishing all the labs, practicing mystery labs, doing the, the, the practice exams, but also going beyond that, finding a way to exfiltrate the data, to exploit the vulnerabilities, so you don't have to worry about on the exam day when you identify the vulnerabilities, for example, cross-site scripting or SSTY, you know what to do and how can you uh, save a bunch of a time, but not to waste your time uh, trying to Google on the exam day because four hours is really not much of a time for an ex exam of this kind, especially we have six steps total for two apps. So yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment and have a nice day.